Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. Come on, Sanka. Sanchez. <laughs> Sanchez. No, his name's Laurie. We call him Laurie Sanchez. What? He shall be your maxi priest. Oh. This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. We're at the Nottingham Arena here in Nottingham, surprisingly, with me, with Tony Bellew. Yeah. How are you, Tony? I'm all right, mate. I'm uh, come through a little scare there and, you know, I've had to, to bite down on the gum shield and, and get on with it, mate. It's boxing, isn't it? First of all, how much credit do you give to Mick Williamson in the corner there? Because obviously he was cut quite early on and mm. didn't look like he was going to survive the rounds without that cut he done an getting amazing, worse. He's done an amazing job. This is the reason why I hire Mick Williamson because he's the best cut man in the world. He's proved it time and time again with the likes of Hatton uh, and, and many other fighters too. He saved fighters' careers in fights and, and tonight he, he saved me there because I don't think there's another cut man in the game that could have dealt with that. When I came back in the changing room and looked in the mirror, it, it made me feel sick. So... You know, it's a huge cut, but I've also got to thank my team. The gaffer was fantastic in the corner. He stayed calm throughout. He didn't get phased. Dave in the corner for the first time tonight. Dave was great. And they all just helped me and, and bounced off each other, and it was great. And I've got to thank them from the bottom of my heart because without my team, I couldn't have got through that. I really couldn't. Two knockdowns in the fight. Um, yeah. Without the cut, do you anticipate the fight of ending a lot earlier? Yeah, without doubt. I think I'd have finished them in the... I think the cut come in the third, and... It was after the knockdown, and it just I felt it burst. And at first, I thought the pain's not as painful as I expected. And then I went back the corner, and Mick, I, I felt him put the swab in, and it felt it swallowed the cut, swallowed two swabs at once. And I thought, oh, that's a deep one. And I said to Mick, how bad is it? And it, when he said, don't you worry about this, I thought, Jesus Christ, this is going to be, you know, I look like I've been it with a bat or something here. So just got to get on with it, mate. Listen, it's boxing. I'm happy I've come through it. It's another episode. It's another, you know, thing that I can say I've come through, I've dealt with, I've learned from. We're learning all the time, mate, and I've come through it. You were like, winning every round. Was it a concern to you, though, that all your good work could be undone if um, if the referee had stopped in and thought the cut was too bad? Oh, no, I, I had no concern from that point of view. Listen, I, when Victor Lachlan came in the changing room before, I said, Victor, regardless of what happens, you give me every opportunity and you give him every opportunity. And to be fair... He did, he gave the two of us every opportunity and that kid had a good defence but at the same time, uh, the, the blood was never gushing in my eye and Mick just done a fantastic job, he, he stenched the blood, he stopped it and we just got on with our job, listen, business, it's work and it doesn't matter what you do to me, I won't stop. Like t tonight was on the front foot, we attacked, we pressed the whole fight and for the, uh, like I say, if that wouldn't have come in the third round, I believe I'd have took his head off but it come. And we learned. It's another learning experience on the step to the world title. I've got this. So moving forward now, <coughs> will, will you press Eddie Earn to, to get this final eliminator before um, hopefully your world title shot? There's again? one thing I don't need to do to press Eddie. Eddie. Eddie presses me, mate. He wants me out that much. And for once in my life, I'm active. I, I'm a busy fighter. I mean, who fights 12 rounds as often as I do and as regular as I do? I'm in 12 rounds all the time. And I'm learning, so it's fantastic. I couldn't be happier. All I ever wanted to do when I got in this game was stay active and stay busy and, and be around people who believed in me. And, for, and I'm getting that now. I'm there. We're, we're getting a step closer. This proves we're getting closer now. This is like an interim belt to me, so it, it's pushing me really towards Chad Dawson. Tonight, there was things that we need to work on, things we need to learn, but one thing that was never in question was them down there, that, and then I also used a lot of that. Because there was times in there when I thought, I can't attack, I can't press, I've got to do this, stay away from the head, you know, he's trying to kid me with the jab. He was clever, to be fair. I mean, he's had 32 fights. You know, he's, he was throwing jabs to miss, but to try and take the pass lean off the cut, it was crazy some of the things he was doing. Then he was trying to scratch me inside and it was nuts to me with the good, but listen, it's another learning experience. I'm over the moon. I thank my team. I, I thank Eddie. I thank Matchroom. I can't thank them enough. They believed in me and gave me the opportunity to shine. And this, I'm just over the moon. That's Joe Louis and Muhammad Ali, mate. Two of the, one of the greatest fighters in my of my I've ever seen. So, I'm just so happy. Talking of them there now, yeah. I sort of had an awkward glance earlier on, yeah. and the mirror caught you yeah. naked in the shower. I don't worry about that. And you've got the whitest backside I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, well, don't worry, it's all good. But listen, <laughs> <laughs> listen. As well, people were asking. Um, <laughs> What you called Belonte at the at the yeah. weigh-in? Um, yeah. You learned a new Spanish word. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us what that actually was now? Pain. 
I told him he was in for serious pain, and let me tell you, he felt pain. I think personally, he's going to be pissing blood for a few days. He's going to go to. Is that what it was? Pain. Pain, mate. Pain. What, he was calling him a slag or something. Oh, listen, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a nasty oh. person. Man. I don't disrespect people. I said he's going to feel pain, and he felt it. See the look on his face. I hit him with the uppercut in one of them rounds, and he was just sick to the stomach. And to be fair, I wanted to nail him more and more, but. You know, this is so now as well, and that, that went numb. In the ninth round, I lived the pace because that went numb. That was really sore after the third round, the right hand tonight. But, listen, we soldier on. We get on with it. Don't bitch, just man up and fight. It's what the boxing game is, just fight. And I love to fight. I love nothing more. I'd have loved to have stood toe to toe and wiped them out in that third round. But things happen, and that's boxing, mate. And I'm just so grateful. I've learned another lesson tonight, and we move on. So your fans can expect to see you out in February in yeah. Liverpool? If 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 me and Eddie both had our way, I'd be out February, March, June, July, September, October. <laughs> but we don't always get what we want, and crazy things like this happen. You know, tonight I, I've suffered a cut. I've never been cut in my career. Really, I had a nick off the over McKenzie. Uh, I've never suffered anything like this. I just didn't think I was the type to cut like this. But I'm happy you've come through it. It's another episode, another chapter in the book, and I, I've learned from it. Like I say, I'm, I'm happy. I'm just a bit scared now. I just don't want to speak to my kids because I'm a little bit scared because, you know, my elder boy's going to be looking at that and he's going to be worried, thinking, Dad, you know, he's the, looks like the elephant man a bit, you know, and I've got a third eye above my other eye, so, you know, he's going to be a bit worried. I'm sure he'll be fine. My missus goes, you're in deep shit, by the way, because she's due tomorrow. She's due to have the baby tomorrow and you're holding me, keeping me here, son. What are you going to do about it, you mug? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thank you very much for talking to my wife from London. Um, Thanks very much for I having me. Uh, unlucky, you lost to uh, Reading earlier on. Um, you absolute asshole! Did you do Tottenham? Did you? Yes. Sanker and the Reese on the on the camera. Yeah. One nil down, four one up. I was actually laughing, you know, but I was happy because Bale scored. But I always with his right foot as well. Yeah, I, I was happy because Bale scored, but also I always want. I'll be honest, totally on. I want Arsenal to win because my man Michael's there, and I'm mates with Michael. Used to come to me fights. So when Arsenal are playing, I don't mind Evan. You had Anders Limpar. As long as you're on coming near my team, I'm a catch. He's your man, mate. Don't mix it up. Anders Limpar's one of me. <laughs> I'm always your guy. I spoke to Jack Rodwell earlier and he was, had some good words to say, say about you as well. Jack's so. my boy, mate. All the guys at Everton, you know what? It's amazing. Even the chairman gave me a shout the other day. I'm so grateful and blessed to have the facilities and to do the things I do at Everton. And do you know what? I'm just, I'm lucky. I'm lucky to do it. And going to Finch Farm, I live the dream. You know, when I see them players, they, they're looking at me as if I'm, the, but I go to Everton and I'm still made up. I'm buzzing. I love going to Finch Farm. It's great. It's the best thing ever. I look at them because they can do something I dream of doing. But then they tell me they dream of doing what I do. No one dreams of getting punched in the face. No one. You know what I mean? I must be a mug, mustn't I? Who's going to get punched in the face for a living? Do you want to do it? No, you're all right. All I right. might have a fight next year, actually. Will you train me? Aye, aye. I'll train you. Will you yeah. train me? I'll train you, but you've got to spar me. I'll spar you. <laughs> Give me 12 months. Um, <laughs> this is Coogan Cassius with um, Tony Bell. Uh, Tony Bell, is it your wife or your fiancé? Neither. It's more important than that. I've got three kids, mate. I've surpassed Beyonce. Well, I'm Beyonce sorry. Wife it is my fault that he's late. Like I've got them, it's my fault that he's going to roll in at five in the morning. I'm sorry. Five in the morning, my ass, mate. I'll be home soon, love. All right. We'll start off. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, mate. Keep watching I Film London. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.